this is a quick video demonstration of how to connect to your DVR using your handheld device. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using an iPhone and our app Tech Pro SS Plus. To start, um, I'm just going to open up the app. And there is one thing you need to figure it out first. If you go to your DVR, you go to the main menu, settings, and network, your DVR will have an IP address. That IP address needs to be input into uh, the configurations of the app in order to work when you are inside the network from your phone. Also, your phone needs to be connected to the local Wi-Fi where that DVR is connected to, or the same router that that DVR is connected to. So uh, once you know your internal IP, you will input this information on the app, and it's very simple to do. Uh, you just go to this icon right here on the top left corner, you go to Device Manager, and you're going to click Add, Manual Add, and you're going to type a name for uh, your DVR. Uh, the name will be something that is going to be intuitive to you. Uh, for my demonstration, I already uh, created a name, so I'm going to skip this information. The address will be the IP address of the uh, DVR. The port will be the TCP port of your DVR. The username will be the username you use to log in to the DVR and the password as well. Lastly will be the channel amount, how many channels or how many cameras you have on your DVR, the total amount of cameras that your DVR supports. Once you're done, you click Save, and you're going to go back to this uh, menu right here or this uh, page. We will show you all of the uh, DVRs you have added into the system. So for my demonstration, I already created one that says JR Demo, and you can see the information here. This is my internal IP, the TCP port of my DVR, the username and password, and the amount of channels that my DVR have. Next step will be to connect to the DVR and view the cameras. To do so, you're going to go to Live Preview, and you will, be, uh, uh, you will see these four windows right here. This window represents the channels that you're going to be viewing. Okay. Uh, to start, you just go to a window, and then there is a plus on the window. You can click on it, and you look for the DVR you just created. And my demonstration is JR Demo. Just click on it. These are all of the channels my DVR have. I'm just going to use, for this demo, I'm just going to click channel 1, and I'm going to repeat the same procedure for the other channels. Say this. There you go. It's very simple to use. If you put your phone like this on landscape, you will see uh, this menu is right here. And then also you can double tap on each of the windows and you can see the cameras on full screen. This particular camera is a PTZ. You can just move the camera scroll like that and you can see there is me making the video. I can take a snapshot if I want to from there. And it will go to uh, the photo library of the phone. You can also add other cameras from this uh, icon right there. I can just go ahead and change this camera. Let's say channel number two, it will be me right there making this video. Also, we have an app for iPad as well. It's called Tech Pro SS as well. And it has similar features, but the only difference will be that the iPad supports up to 16 channels, or you can view 16 cameras at the same time. Next step will be how to connect to the DVR when you are traveling, etc. For that, you have to figure it out what your external IP is on your network. To do so, you're going to go to a computer on your network, and you're going to go to www.canyouseeme.org. That external IP, you're going to put it on the app for you to connect when you are outside the network. To do so, it's the same steps that you use to connect while you're inside the network, but the difference will be the IP address that you're going to use. We're going to go to Device Manager. We're going to add another uh, device. In this case, you can call it something that is intuitive to you as well. My demonstration, I call it DVR Out. And uh, what I'm going to show you here, I'm going to go to that that I created. I'm going to go to JR Demo Out. And you can see this is the information of uh, my network and the DVR. As you see, the port, the username and password is the same. The name is different because I wanted to uh, distinguish the when I'm inside the network and when I'm outside the network. And the external IP is different as well. 
this is going to be my external IP for me to access the DVR. Once I have all of that information, the next step will be uh, make sure that your Wi-Fi is off. On an iPhone, you go to settings, and then you go to Wi-Fi, and I just simply turn it off. As soon as I see that I'm on the LTE network, that means that I'm going to be accessing the DVR from the app from uh, outside the network. We're using an external IP. Next step will be to go to the live preview. And there's exactly the same steps. You can click on it, look for the DVR name that you created. On my uh, example is JR Demo out. And I just pull up the cameras. I hope this has been informative to you, and thank you for watching.